Hi, welcome to Eva's Caribbean Kitchen. Today we are doing the Eldorado Rum Dinner with Ed Hamilton, Ministry of Rum. Hi, Hi Eva. Ed. How Good are? to see you again. You too. Time flies. Sure does. That was October of last year. About, uh, yeah, about a year ago. Yes. Well, I'm really happy to be here, and I know that you love the Guyanese rums, being from Guyana. I do, yes. And I'm uh, really happy to be here and see that they finally have distribution in this part of the world. It takes a long time. But uh, one of the things we're going to talk about is the evolution of the Guyanese rums. Uh, Guyana was one of the first uh, suppliers of rum to the Royal Navy back in the 1600s. And for over 300 years, the company grew, uh, the, the industry grew in Guyana. But it really wasn't recognized outside Guyana. The rest of the world didn't know about these rums so much. They were primarily bulk suppliers. And about 300 years later, uh, 75, 1975, 74, the Demerara Distiller Limited Company came about and they said, you know, we've got these rums and some of them are world recognized aged rums. Instead of selling them all as bulk rum, let's do our own label. And uh, with change in administration and government and politics, uh, El Dorado or DDL launched the El Dorado name. And uh, you probably remember growing up in Guyana, there used to be a Four Kings uh, and King of Diamonds brand. My dad used to drink that. The King of Diamonds, <laughs> I, I misspoke. Four Kings uh, was a, a, didn't last very long, but King of Diamonds. And then uh, about 95 or so, they launched the El Dorado name. And uh, they wanted to update the image. And people said, oh, the King of Diamonds wasn't a good label. I thought it was a great label. Uh, everybody knew it as something that you couldn't get. And then when the El Dorado rums became available, uh, the 15-year-old was really the flagship. But today we can get uh, a white rum, a three-year-old, a five-year-old, an eight-year-old, which is fairly new to the market, and then a 12, 15, and uh, I'm almost disappointed we don't have the eight-year-old today. I am too. But we have the 21-year-old, so. And I have some 25-year-old. I'm not sure if I'm willing to share. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can share that later. Okay. And we have the El Dorado Rum Cream, yes. which is an excellent rum cream uh, made with fresh cream from Guyana. <music> Guyana is unique in that the DDL, the parent company that makes El Dorado rums, uh, has and operates the last uh, wooden pot still and also the last continuous wooden still. Uh, these were originally built back in the uh, 1700s, 16, late 1600s, 1700s. They're built with Guyanese hardwood, tropical hardwoods, and uh, these woods are so heavy if they put them in the ocean they would sink. Uh, they're impervious to all kinds of uh, insects and degradation. Now, over the years they've had to replace pieces of it but these old stills, these old type stills, uh, make a very heavy rum that is aged and then blended in with the 12, 15, and the 21-year-old rums. The Rum Me to Submission series started Eva's Caribbean Kitchen because we wanted to educate everybody about rums. I think rum is amazing. I grew up with rums in Guyana. I think it's the best thing on the planet, better than tequila. and and vodka. Well, rum is the most diverse of all the distilled spirits. And tonight we're talking about Guyanese rums. Uh, they're rums from Martinique, from Puerto Rico, from Venezuela, Guy Guatemala. And they're all different. They have different styles, just as the style of cooking in Guyana is different than it is, say, in Mexico. So tonight we talk about the Guyanese rums. Uh, but there's a huge diversity among the rums, just to those in Guyana the three-year-old white cask-aged rum. It's aged three years, and then they carbon filter it to make a nice white rum. A lot of people you know would not drink anything but a white rum. True. Other people would never drink a white rum. So I want to introduce them to a white rum, and then we'll go to a dark rum, an aged rum. Uh, tonight we'll be tasting the 12-year-old rum. It has a lot more character. It's a blend of different rums from different stills, different styles, and then a 15-year-old rum that's aged a little longer, has different characteristics, different finish, and then the 21-year-old rum. And one of the misconceptions is that if it's older, it's got to be better. I know everybody thinks that. Everybody <laughs> thinks that. I look at it as maturity. And some of us were at the peak of maturity when we're younger. 
and then we go downhill from there. <laughs> Some of us are not mature yet. I, I hopefully, I'm going to get more mature as I get older. I'm not going to say I'm going to necessarily get better. Now, some people will think I'm better, but a lot of women come into their maturity later in life, some earlier in life. The same with rum. But to really get to know it, you need to spend the night with it. And in the morning... <laughs> Is that the rum or the women? <laughs> well, take your pick. And in the morning, you'll know whether to indulge or put it back on the shelf. Oh, goodness. I was getting hot in here. I think you're blushing. <laughs>